I'm at a secret location in the UK because behind me here in this garage is the last working Braun GP car from 2009. This is the car that won Jensen Button six races and his title in Brazil back in 2009. It is now owned by Ross Braun himself and is kept and maintained here for filming days or events like Goodwood. Also, this video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, but more on them a little bit later. Now, to save you waiting for the brand new Disney Plus show coming out soon with Keanu Reeves, which is a four part mini docuseries all about the Braun GP car, here's a quick explanation about why this car is so legendary. At the end of 2008, the Honda Formula One team announced that it was pulling out from Formula One, leaving hundreds of staff facing redundancy. Ross Braun, the team principal at the time, convinced the Honda board to sell the team to a buyer, rather than walking away altogether and losing over 90 million pounds. But Ross Braun saw firsthand that while this car was being developed, that it's going to be a race winner. So he brought the team for one pound and used the remaining team budget, as well as some personal loans, to kick off their season. But because Honda had already invested heavily into the car's performance, they discovered a legal loophole by having a double diffuser. So right out of the gate, it was two seconds quicker than anyone else. Fast forward then to the end of the season and the now named Braun GP team had won eight times securing both the drivers and the constructors championships. During that season, the engine supplier to Braun was Mercedes, who at the end of 2009 brought a majority stake in the team to create what is now known as the Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team. But then once these cars had crossed the finishing line in Abu Dhabi in 2009, what then happened to them? In total, they created three cars, and one of those cars was given to Mercedes as a show car, one to Jensen Button for winning the championship, and then this one, which is owned by Ross Braun himself. This is the number two chassis, which saw Jensen Button win the title in Brazil, still got his seat in it, still got his old steering wheel on here, and this is the only functional Braun GP car left out there. But then it hasn't raced for over 10 years, so how is a car like this maintained? In uh, 2010, the car was sprayed silver and used a, a demo car for Mercedes, because obviously they only had the race cars. Yeah, this is chassis too so and it was mothballed taken apart he wanted it in the brazilian livery because obviously that's when they won the world championship so it had been built up for ross at brackley mercedes and delivered to him on a truck and put under a cover went to see the car in ross's collection pulled the cover off it and there she was and it hadn't been started for th i think four or five years But yeah, it's been here since 2016 and run it whenever it gets invited or Ross wants to run it. So we try and maintain this as in it could go and do a Grand Prix tomorrow. You just need to make sure everything's bang on. There's no spares. Minimum is five people to start one of these. It's crackers, but that's what it takes. So we'd check the gearbox, the clutch, check the engine before every run. A lot of the time the clutch isn't actually stored you know, on the car. We take the clutch off to release the pressure off the springs, release the um, water pressure out of the car. What people don't realize, some of the oils we run in the car can be quite nasty on the seals. So we actually drain the engine oil out, the gearbox oil out. So once everybody's gone home, we need to fire this car once more, take all the, all the fuel out of the car, and then we put a, a two stroke mix in. You've got to be very careful with the fuel pump. The fuel in it can go quite tarry. And when you start one of these up, and you, you know, you're not too sure if that's in good nick or not. We NDT the car every time after it's run. So if it's been to Goodwood or wherever it's been, we NDT the wishbone. So uh, with an ultrasound, if there's any cracks or something that's not quite right within the wishbones or on the tub. Um, the only thing we you know we've struggled with is the clutch. The clutch gets a bit of stick because we're probably doing 12 starts per day. So we're going to the bottom of the hill of Goodwood in assembly area back up to the top. So this clutch does get some stick. So we've just had a, a clutch remanufactured, you know, new material, new springs. And yeah, so that's the most precious thing with one of these is, is the clutch. Of course, the engine, you've got to keep an eye on the engine as well. We've only got the ratios we've got um, because there are no ratios left, you know, because they didn't really have any money during the season. They, it's, they didn't make lots and lots of parts. That's why, you know, it's um, so special. And so for obvious reasons, that's why the location of the Braun GP car is kept secret. But if you ever want to digitally change your location and keep yourself protected, why not use today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN? Now, the main reason why I love this service so much is because when I go onto the VPN app, I can digitally change my location to a different territory. So therefore I get more access to different TV shows or films from services like Netflix. But it's not just limited to folk like us in the UK. Surfshark has over 3000 servers across 95 countries, meaning you can unlock even more geoblock programs and services in different territories. And if you use my promo code MATTIMIS at checkout, not only will you get 83% off your plan, but you also get three extra months for free. Plus there's a 30 day money back guarantee, so you can try all of this out. And if it's not for you, then there is no risk in canceling. So make sure to click the top link in the description below, but thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.